Test and testing one two three and we are live what's up guys george the cloud here my name is jorge aka george welcome to the channel and welcome to my life as we dive deep into these battles today we're checking out looping world championship 808 bannon versus biscuit vocal music sound clash quarterfinal 2023 now this is an interesting battle both extremely good loopers they have their own style personality vibe strong competitors on paper i guess i would give the win to biscuit but uh i think 808 bannon's gonna put up a fight this should be good so um yeah guys let's dive right in i do have a playlist of all the other um battles that i'm checking out i've got my looping ears today since i'm checking out like five battles back to back -box so battle. i should be ready to uh to judge this battle and comment on it as an expert of reactions let's get right into it get some popcorn fill up your water put your headphones on please don't listen to this without headphones have mercy let's go world championship 808 bannon three minutes on the clock in three two one loop So what happened with the timer there? Was it off the entire time? Did he go overboard? I'm not sure. I think there was a mistake with the timer, but 
as far as around i really enjoyed what he was building the different sounds the elements the layers kind of the direction where it was going i think the execution could have been a little bit better he seemed to uh, make a few mistakes i'm afraid just based on his uh, facial expression and even like the drop he was like oh and then he did it saved it but uh it was a close call and um man i it, this is one of those rounds that i feel like had a lot of potential to go big but it just didn't come out the way it should have even though i think it was it was great uh i really enjoy um 808 Bannon style and I think he's very creative and original with his looping so big up and also I just realized both American both American loopers against each other interesting they're trying to take out America uh, but yeah this this is interesting let's see what happens let's see what uh, Biscuit does Loop. Yo, those lyrics I wrote for you sounded really nice, bro. Good job. Okay, so super experimental track. Props for that because it's risky. Not playing it safe. It's strange, right? Um, kind of inky, strange. But I don't know. For me, it's not. It's not my cup of tea. So um, yeah, I still respect the uh, the effort. 
the different layers. The structure is so weird, right? Not common at all, like your typical song or track, whatever. It's just kind of feels experimental, artistic, but at the same time, to me, it sounded kind of all over the place. Right at the end, uh, people covering their ears, which is not a great sign. It was distorted, and I get that's the idea with some of the sounds. They're very, like, I don't even know. They're just crazy, extraterrestrial, robotic, otherworldly. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just different. But it does get a little bit staticky, loud, and um, confusing. So, man, 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 I don't know. First... Uh, First two rounds, they're pretty close. You know, <clears throat> he has the originality, but I think it flowed better with 808 Bannon. So I'm going to give the first round actually to 808 Bannon. Interesting to see what happens. I've gotten very surprised in this uh, world championship competition with the judging. So who knows what could happen? Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, loop. Interesting. I don't know what that was about there in the end. It's like Biscuit trying to do a cameo on his round, but uh, I don't know. It was weird. This round, though, super clean. The structure, it was uh, like, what even is that genre? genre of music? It was like Skrillex, right? Dubstepy? I electronic? Techno? What are we 
what are we talking about here somebody let me know in the comments but yeah this was super solid um i really enjoyed this actually and i think he could take this 808 bannon could take the battle if biscuit comes out well let's see i mean he has to come with something strong i think they both have better rounds than what we have heard but maybe they're saving them for later on i don't know still very solid uh this was my favorite round of the battle so far let's see what happens biscuit in three two one loop. also just quickly um nah, i'm not sure about the uh, three two one loop i would have said something more like loop it loop it so it ends like more energetic but it's like three two one loop just i don't know i just a random thought all right guys with me that was a lot for me personally and i do have to acknowledge that we have heard both of biscuits rounds before i think he used them at gbb 21 the first one if i'm not mistaken was against i know the second the one he just used is it was against robin the first one i can't remember but we've heard them before compared to uh i was gonna say what compared to 808 bannon never heard those rounds before so more points for 808 bannon and again the the sound 
the sound quality i think has to be there i know biscuits round is supposed to be super like mushy and uh like a combination of different sounds chaotic and this was trance even so it was the original one was rhythm right but he turned it into a trance version which goes pretty hard fast and just to me it was a bit overwhelming not easy to listen to this is one of the rounds that you either enjoy it or you don't like you're either in or you're out if you're in is you know you're going ham almost working out if you're not in it's going to be disturbing so uh, i'm not sure personally not my favorite i don't think this has been my favorite uh biscuit performance i do like i said respect the grind the effort just being there is uh it's got to be tough and also he has to prepare rounds for gbb right we know he's competing there and we have watched the battles and we'll continue um actually we won't because spoiler alert if you didn't already know he lost against robin but um yeah i will give this battle to 808 bannon i don't even know how the judges are gonna vote because this competition has been throwing me off with the results so uh whatever happens i guess i would be satisfied but i think 808 bannon deserves to win let's see the results Give it up, give it up, guys. All right, we've got a jury. They're raring to go for this one. Are we ready for the jury's decision? In three, two, one, result. 5-0 going to 808 Bannon. Okay, okay, agree. And 808 Bannon takes it. Give it up, give it up. Oh, that was Gina Shinozaki. I saw the ears. I think the ears gave it away. Look at the ears. That has to be Jin. Uh, Jean, right? I don't know who these people are. Is this um? Ed, what's his name? The nah. I'm blanking out. An 808 Baden takes it. Give it up. Give it up. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fair. Like I said, I personally, I would have given the win to 808 Bannon. And this time the judges agreed with me, which hasn't happened much before in this competition. So um, good to see that. I just think that Biscuit didn't show his best stuff. And the rounds he did present, the performance wasn't fully there. I don't know. I didn't see the, the fire in his eyes to win. Maybe he was a bit off, something happened. Who knows? It's life, guys. Anything could happen. So, you know, we might not know anything behind the scenes or whatever. But uh, I just thought 808 Bannon tried harder and his rounds flowed better. So there it is. We will continue to watch these battles next. I have it ready here. Antrix versus Just Weed. Oh, this is the semi-final already. So... Guys, stay tuned for that. Check out the playlist. And if you, if, you, uh, if you enjoyed the reaction, man, I can't even talk. I got uh, like four hours of sleep last night. So do forgive. If you enjoyed the commentary, hit the like, subscribe, share, recommend, ring the bell. Even at the end, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.